Hey everyone, I am Razvan and in this tutorial we will learn how to set up a Selenium project in IntelliJ by importing all its necessary jar files. In order to have the same starting point, I prepared a list of prerequisites. You can find all of them explained step by step in one of my previous tutorials about how to create a Selenium project from scratch. I also added its link in this video's description. So. In order to start, we need to have a Chrome browser installed on our local machine, a Java JDK installed, an IntelliJ IDE installed, and here I recommend the community version because it's free, all the Selenium jar files downloaded in a folder, and on Windows we need to add the Chrome driver file path to the system environment variables. If you use a different operating system like OS X or Linux, you need to move the Chrome driver file to the bin folder. Now I will show you how to download the IntelliJ installer. All we need to do is to go on Google and type download IntelliJ. Click the first result. Choose your platform, Windows in my case, and it has two versions, the Ultimate, which provides a free trial, so this is a paid version, and the Community one, which is free, so click the Download button, save it. And this is it. You just need to open the installer and perform the basic installation process. I want to do this step because I already have the IntelliJ installed on my local machine. So let's get back to our presentation. So let's go on IntelliJ and create a new project. File, New, Project, Java Project, and check the Project SDK. You need to have a Java version in here. Next, next, Project Name, My IntelliJ. Click Finish. And this is our new project, but now we need to import all the jar files for it. So, file, project structure, go to libraries, click the plus button, Java, go to the jar files path, and let's start with those. Uh, located in the libs folder so in this way we will not forget to include them okay click the plus again and now import the rest of them jar 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 and jar okay apply and okay and now we have all the jar files imported. Okay, great. So now our setup is completed, but we can verify it by creating a very simple scenario. Let's do that by creating a new class in the source folder. Define our web driver, create a new method, we are using the Chrome driver which triggers the Google Chrome browser. Okay. 
So basically, this very simple scenario takes uh, the Gmail's title and uh, outputs it in our console. Let's create a new variable for the actual Gmail's title. We need to add the testng annotation to just to mark our method as a test. So now we can just execute it by right clicking and click run. So we have a total test run one, and this is our output. Gmail title is Gmail. Okay, so our scenario has been successfully executed. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Happy testing!